hello learners welcome to data cafe youtube channel today i am going to explain how to uh, provisioning azure data factory gen 2 version in the azure web portal so in the previous video i have explained how to provisioning sql server and sql server database in azure platform and i have shown you how to connect to that sql server database through the uh, sql server management studio so my name is Pubudu Devagama. By profession, I am an enterprise data architect, digital transformer, and visiting lecture. Uh, now we will move to the today video tutorial. Okay. Uh, before moving to uh, provisioning that Azure Data Factory, I will explain what is Azure Data Factory. Actually, Azure Data Factory is an Azure Cloud ETL service for scale out serverless data integration and data transformations, basically, cloud based ETL tool. It offers a code free UI for intuitive uh, authoring and single pane of glass monitoring and management. So, you can also lift and shift existing SSIS package to Azure and run them with fully compatible in ADF. So if you have uh, SSIS packages on your uh, on-premise platform, simply you can shift and lift, lift and shift those uh, SSIS packages into Azure Data Factory. And also SSIS integrations runtime offers a fully managed service. So you don't have to worry about the infrastructure management because when you are dealing with the SSIS, you have to uh, consider about the infrastructure and server configurations. But when you are working with the uh, uh, Azure Data Factory, no need to worry about that. So I think this is the basic introduction about the Azure Data Factory. So uh, now I will show you how to uh, uh, provisioning that Azure Data Factory. I think in the as I explained earlier, in the previous video we have provisioned the Azure uh, the resource group and SQL Server and the SQL database. Now uh, I will show you uh, how to provision that Azure Data Factory. For that you have to search your product. So uh, you have to uh, search that product uh, which is Azure uh, Data Factory. So you can see uh, there is a service called Azure Data Factory. You have to click on that. Then uh, now you can see a uh, Data Factory uh, page has loaded. Now I'm going to create my uh, Data Factory. So uh, there are two options in, the, uh, in this button. You can uh, create or you can click on this button. So I will click on this. Then uh, it will load to the, uh, the creation steps. Okay, uh, now uh, the, that uh, create data factory page has loaded. So subscription is Azure for student. Then I have to select my uh, earlier created resource group. My resource group name is uh, data cafe resource group. Then uh, you have to give the name. So I will give as data cafe uh, uh, data factory. So uh, region is uh, East US and the versions. Uh, actually, uh, we have two versions uh, uh, and uh, earlier version is version 1, but uh, better to uh, use the uh, versions 2 because it has a lot of additional features. Uh, in the next uh, tab, you can see the git configurations. For that, actually, we have to give that uh, Azure DevOps accounts, project names, repo names, branch name and uh, root folder. So, uh, we have to give that uh, name uh, uh, data cafe uh, devops and uh, data cafe demo as the project name and uh, data cafe uh, repo and uh, data cafe br01 branch and uh, data cafe. so you need to give uh, that git uh, configurations to uh, keep your repositories then uh, if you move to that network uh, tab uh, you have to enable manage virtual network on the default auto uh, resolve integration runtime so uh, because uh, when you are executing some sure data factory pipelines you have to enable that uh, uh, auto resolving integration runtime so after that you have to go to that uh, uh, advanced tab and enable encryptions using customer managed key so if you want you can uh, enable that one 
so after the tags you can create any tags and i think we have given the relevant information in the basic so we have given relevant information uh, so uh, git configurations and the network in sections we have given public uh, yeah endpoint we have given so uh, yeah then the tags okay then we will uh, review and create this uh, uh, Azure data factory so uh, it will show some terms uh, and uh, basic uh, informations like subscriptions resource group name region those informations so uh, validation uh, passed so you can create uh, that data factory instance uh, in addition to that uh, git configurations we, you can show and uh, i think uh, we have given all the relevant informations now i will click on the create button to create that Azure data factory instance so initializing my deployment and i think uh, within a few seconds it will uh, create in my uh, resource group so now submitting my uh, deployment so likewise uh, it will uh, deploy so now it, it will load the uh, uh, home page we'll see so you can see a uh, deployment uh, is uh, successfully uh, completed as this you can see uh, your deployment is completed to uh, get that instance you can go to a resource group so you have to click on this button then uh, it will uh, load to my uh, data cafe resource group and uh, show the all the information or else you can click on the home then uh, yeah, once you refresh it will load your uh, data cafe in, uh, data factory instance okay uh, now you can see uh, recently created my uh, data cafe, data factory instance so i will click on this then uh, it will load to that uh, configuration page of the data factory okay uh, now you can see uh, the recently created data factory instance so to connect to that data factory uh, there is a, a button called open azure data factory studio from that you can uh, open uh, that azure data factory in addition to that if you want uh, to read the documentation related to azure data factory you can uh, read that one so i will click on this button then it will uh, open the azure data factory and it's loading the uh, azure data factory will stay a few seconds so uh, this is the uh, data factory uh, home page so uh, you can see uh, there are a lot of components available so in the left hand side you can see uh, under author uh, you can create uh, different uh, pipelines and you can create their data sets and data flows and the data queries in addition to that you can find that monitor and the monitor you can uh, monitor your execu execution stats of your pipeline so once you schedule that pipelines you can show list all the uh, status of that uh, pipeline so uh, periodically we can monitor that one and also uh, we can check the runtime uh, integration runtimes and triggers runs all the informations we can get in addition to that there is a dashboard in the dashboard there is no any uh, information because this is the uh, recently created data factory instance so i think uh, you have a clear understanding about how to uh, provisioning azure data factory so in my pre uh, next video i will show you how to create a simple pipeline to uh, read some data in the source database and write into the destination uh, database thank you